How was uh, practice today? Uh, you know, it was our hot, hottest day by far. And uh, practice 12, there's some uh, pushing through going on. I think that's important. Anything that we get, we're going to have to go earn. And right now, you know, there's some weary legs out there, but that's part of camp. And, uh, you know, just trying to create mental toughness and not backing off. I think that's the, the fine line between pushing them through and make sure you're managing your injuries. But, uh, again, just still trying to create that mental st toughness and pushing through the sticking point of uh, camp. What, what's Benito's status right now? How long might he be uh, out? So I think they're, they're, they're treating it like a concussion protocol right now. So there's a standard protocol for that. So I would say um, – Probably Friday, he would take his little impact test that they have, and then potentially early next week, get back out there. We got a lot of guys out. I missed today anyway. Any major concerns there, or most of them just minor injuries? Or? I would say um, most of them. Dawson Knox has a foot that we're evaluating that we still don't know about yet, but I think most of the other ones um, are for sure, you know, minor that were just precautionary reasons. And you know, when you have a concussion, you have a certain right. protocol you right. have to wait to get right. back out there. So. I know Dawson had an ankle injury that cost him in high school. Is it related to that at all? Uh, so no, it's, it's, a, it's a totally separate okay. injury, but we'll, we'll know more uh, hopefully to, you know, this afternoon or, or early tomorrow. So what are DD and Miles dealing with? Um, Miles has a leg injury and uh, DD is a concussion. Coach, these kind of hot days and after last season blowing some leads late in games, how are today, days like today important? They're super important. Everything's important. Um, just playing together, mental toughness, um, you know, just being able to perform under any circumstance, that's what mental toughness is. And so that's what we're trying to create. And you want to find out now in practice. You don't want to wait till the fourth quarter of a game to find out. You want to find out who's going to compete right now. So that, that's what we're in the process of doing. You guys obviously have Marquise at one defensive end. Kadir Shepard seems to kind of step up at the other one. What, what have you seen from Kadir? You know, I've been very season? impressed with Kadir's effort. He runs with the ball. I think he'll be a huge asset. And, and, and I love the fact, you know, Victor Evans, he could, he could just as easily be a starter. I'm, I'm really pleased where he is. So I think we have some depth there, then, and we'll be able to get some guys in there and keep guys fresh. Are any of those guys kind of stepping up as a complimentary pass rusher to Marquise? I know that's something you guys have been looking for. Yeah, you know, Kadir is going to be one, mm -hmm. I think, for sure, just with his effort. I've been impressed with uh, Markel Winters. I've been in, impressed with Victor Evans. So, uh, and then, you know, and then Charles Wiley's coming on. He's just young. So we, we do got some good young talent there. Um, you know, none probably quite with the speed of Marquise. Mm -hmm. But uh, but I think, I think they're coming. I think they'll compliment him well. How is DeMarcus a different receiver this year? He just seems to have a different look about him. Just he, the way he's carrying himself, um, his confidence. I think he's having fun. I think he's enjoying the offense. I think um, the receivers just at the whole have really gonna, done a good job of pushing for each other. And that's a uh, that's just a it's a cool thing to see them pulling for each other, blocking for each other, cheering for each other when each one makes a play because you know they all want the ball. So, but I, I've just been really pleased with their unselfishness. He talks about being more physical. Do you notice that in him? I do. You know, he asked me if, I, if he could go on board drill today, which is strange for a receiver. But he's just got a good look about him right now. I love the way that he's carrying himself. And he, he's having a very, very good camp. Is there anyone in um, newcomers that are set, setting the linebacker? Yeah, you know, I think uh, Dante, um, who redshirt, I think he's I think he's really stepping up. I like Jerry and Street. I like him pushing Gates. There's a really good competition right there. So, you know, I think, I think those two, Willie Hibbler, has had a like back to back pretty good day, so I'm hoping he can provide some depth there as well. What was your main takeaway from the scrimmage on Saturday? You know, we played a lot of base. So that kind of put the defense in a tough spot because they were playing a lot of base defense. But we wanted to know everybody know what to do and see who'll play football and compete. So I you know, I was just pleased to see everybody run around and compete. And I thought the defense tackled pretty well. Um, a couple situational things we want to clean up. We want to be a good situational football team, understand down the distance where you're at on the field. I thought there was a couple things we could have done uh, better there, getting off the field on third down. What? How did you guys run the ball in the scrimmage? Good. I think we averaged uh, you know, 5.5 every time we handed it off, which was good. Um, they're, they're all, like, just like we, we converted on a fourth and one in the scrimmage, which I was, you know, Devon made a good run and broke a tackle. Um, you know, always got room for improvement. But, but again, I think when the defense uh, is moving and blitzing, I think that'll be more of the test this week uh, coming up. Where, where does the improvement need to come in the running game? You think? I just, just being consistent, you know, I, I think in this offense with the receivers that you have, you're going to have some opportunities to run the football because they're going to have to play coverage some to respect those guys. And we have those opportunities. You got to be able to execute when you have them. I feel I think being consistent is, is very important. What's been your assessment of the reserve quarterbacks, the backups? Good. You know, I, I just I want uh, Jordan to have a little bit more of a sense of urgency back there because you know this is a fast game and you play against D linemen that can rush the passer. 
So you got to make fast decisions, and I think that comes with just being comfortable, knowing what to do, and get, getting the ball out. But I love his athleticism, and he's been pretty accurate when he has thrown it.